spiders. I don't like spiders. I'm, I'm just not the kind of girl who will pick the spider up and put him outside and let him live. Nope, I am not that girl. Welcome to A Cup of Courage. I'm your host, RJ Jackson, the Courage Giver. Hey you, welcome to The Courage Cafe. And it's my pleasure today to serve you A Cup of Courage. Today we're gonna talk about courage. Of course, like what else would we talk about? <laughs> we're gonna talk about courage and what courage is. I want to fill your cup one ounce at a time by explaining to you how you can use your courage today to see the invisible, experience the intangible, and believe the impossible. All right, so what is courage? One definition of courage is facing your fears. Now, we all have something that we're afraid of. We push back and go, mm -mm, no, not me, right? Well, honestly, bugs and creepy crawlers, mm -mm. Ugh, that's just not me. Let's talk about RJ and spiders. I'm just not that girl. Okay, I remember we were at a festival and my granddaughter went off to do her thing and then she came running back over to me like, sweetie, sweetie, you gotta come meet Rosie. I'm like, okay, who's Rosie? And she's like grabbing me by the hand and like pulling me off and we get there and I find out that Rosie is a spider. Not just any spider, a big spider, like a gigantic spider. A tarantula. What do I want to meet Rosie for? Well, Rosie is the actual spider that played in the movie Spider-Man. I started talking to Rosie's owner, Steve, and Steve really did his best to convince me that Rosie was friendly. It's like, yeah, as long as Rosie stay over there, we could be friends. Why can't we be friends? And so then he went on to further convince me to put Rosie on my shoulder. But courage is facing your fears. And I was afraid of spiders. So with a lot of hesitation, I did agree to hold Rosie the spider. Well, not actually hold her, but allow Steve to put Rosie on my shoulder. And I even had the nerve to, to smile while he did it. Now here's the thing. Courage is facing your fears. It doesn't mean you're not going to have the fear, but it's saying I'm bigger than my fear. And in that moment, in that instant, I was scared as heck. I promise you, but I continue to smile as he put Rosie on my shoulder. And I even stayed still long enough to take a couple of pictures for people who were observing me in my crazy moment. Well, actually, it really wasn't a crazy moment. It was more like a courageous moment. The moment that I faced my fear. I had another crazy, courageous moment facing my fears as it relates to spiders. And that was the day while in Cambodia, I, along with my teammates on a mission trip, ate spider. Yes, you heard me right. <laughs> I ate a spider. Like, OMG, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? No, I'm so serious. I ate spider because in Cambodia, spider is like a delicacy. And they went and got a spiders and lizards and cockroaches and told us to eat it. You talk about facing your fear. Well, one thing I promised myself I wasn't gonna do, and I didn't do, I didn't eat no cockroach. That's where I drew the line. That wasn't facing no fear. That was just point crazy to me. But I did face my fear of spiders, and I ate the spider. So how did it taste, you say? Mm, a little like beef jerky. 
but I'm not a beef jerky kind of girl either. <laughs> I'm vegan. So yeah, listen, courage is facing your fears. What fear is in your face that you can face today? Because whatever it is, the best way to overcome it is to face it. Courage, well, it's being afraid and doing it anyhow. I believe in you, you got this. Whether you're afraid to get in front of people and speak, you're afraid to write your book, you're afraid to start your business, you're afraid to go on a, a journey by yourself, you're afraid to take that job, you're afraid to leave your job, whatever it is you're afraid of, face it. You can do it and I'm rooting for you. I promise you, once you face it, you'll end up living life on the other side of fear. And that's where life is happening. So come on, meet me over here because life really is happening on the other side of fear. I can't wait to see you here. Bye for now.